everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to get started with School Cash Online. So uh, signing up for uh, registration um, an account is quite simple. You go to mulgrave.schoolcashonline.com and click get started today. This is how I'm going to go ahead and set up my account. And of course I'm going to start with my name. I'm going to start with the adult in the household first. And then you're going to go ahead and enter your phone number. That's my cell phone number. You guys can text me later and tell me how much you love this system. I have a auto complete here. So I've got my address and I'm going to go ahead and continue. All right, there's some fun, interesting pass password questions here. So the first thing I want to point out is that it needs to be eight characters in length, includes at least one uppercase letter, one lowercase number and one number. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the password that I use for a few things. So it has all those things. All right, the last name of my third grade teacher. Well, yeah, it's going to be Terry. Mrs. Terry was a pretty special lady. And yes, I do want to receive email notifications. So every time I have a new form that's assigned to my child or a payment, I'll go ahead and receive a notification. I'm going to go ahead and continue. So now I need to check my email box to confirm my email address. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Here we go. Here we go. School Cash Online. Confirm your email address. Click on that and go ahead and click yes. So my registration is complete. And I'm going to go ahead and click here to sign in. My email address. Interestingly, it's not the one that defaults there. It's my the email address that I used for um, that confirmation address and my password. And go ahead and sign in. Okay, there's no difference in school board name, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. Choose Mulgrave School. And then I need to enter my student number. So you can see here that it's 2312, but just in case you're not sure what your child's student number is, you can go ahead and go to our website, click on the community login, where you're signed into, and under parent portal, click on PCR portal, and then go ahead and go to your student record. And you'll see right away that the student ID number is right here. And just in case you don't remember, if you have more than one child, you can go ahead and toggle between them here at the top right hand corner and Tatiana's is 2332. Right, I'm going to go ahead and start with Sebastian. This is 2312. And I'm go ahead and add it there. And last name is Peldron. And you confirm. So now I've added Sebastian. This is his student number. And I certify that I'm related to him as his mother. Continue. Now, you know what, just because I know that Tati's going to be needing to fill out a few forms as well, I'm going to go ahead and enter her number, 2232, also Calderon, and confirm. I agree, and I'm also her mother, so we'll continue. So now I've go ahead, I've, I've finished adding both of them. I'm going to go ahead and view my students, and here we go. There's Sebastian, there's Tatiana and I can go ahead and pay for items. 